What's up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. It's a nice chilly morning in Minnesota. I love when seasons start changing. It's so, summertime is so fun. I love golfing and being at the cabin and wakeboarding all the time. I also love when the seasons change and I can start thinking about winter and sweatshirts and making hand warming mugs and just like getting lots of work done over the winter. So it's an exciting time. It's an exciting, exciting time. I have a super exciting video for you guys today. This kiln is completely full of finished glazed pots and I would love to show them all to you. And they're all gonna be for sale on September 14th. So we have our Etsy restock schedule right here of all our sales up until Christmas time. So put them in your calendars. Stuff tends to go quickly. All right, we have some fun things in here. Interesting story, I put this window here with the specific reason that I'd be able to watch sunrises come uh, from that window and that I'd be able to see it at the wheel. So if I was throwing, I could have this door open and I could see it. So this is my dream coming true right now before your eyes on video. Let's unload this thing, ready? All right, first thing we got is these bowls. These are kind of like, uh, Midnight rain over winter wood. I don't really know what kind of bowl this is. Like kind of like a ramen bowl, but a little smaller. It's cool, they turned out really, really good. So these will be up for sale. They stack very nicely. Ooh, those are sweet. I love them, love them. Oh, this one got a little drip on it. A little drippy drippy. My studio is getting so full, I need to do a sale. Whoa. All right, now we have our cart that we can put things on. I am excited. All right, guys. All right. This kiln, we fired to cone six. So I tend to go back and forth between firing to cone six and then firing to cone seven. And pretty much because the Northern Lights glaze, this glaze that I've been doing forever that is really popular and I love it. And it's like one of my best and I'll never stop doing it forever and ever and ever. It looks better at cone six than it looks at cone seven, right? Cone seven starts to get a little darker and cone six is just a little brighter. So whenever I'm doing a bunch of Northern Lights, I fire to cone six and whenever I'm doing anything else, basically I go to cone seven because a lot of the other Mako glazes, I actually like better at cone seven. Some of these uh, smaller spiral Northern Lights mugs, which those turned out amazing. It's also just been one of the most consistent glazes forever. Like I never have problems with it. I can usually always get it to drip a lot, but not off. Here's another one of those bowls. All right, and then finally, I haven't made these in like a year probably, hand warmer mugs. So if you have been waiting for JTP hand warming mugs, finally I have some. Midnight rain over winter wood with the spiral so your fingers kind of just like slide right in there. And then we got a couple Northern Lights. Uh, hand warming, cozy cups, that's what I call them. Cozy, it's been so long I haven't, I don't even remember what I call them. Another one. Oh, this, so my wife, so we have gone kind of totally eco-friendly, sustainable, trying to do everything. Um, we don't have paper towels anymore, we don't have like shampoo bottles anymore, we've just kind of gone. So the business is also doing that. We're getting solar panels to fire the kilns. More videos to come on that, anyway. We, my, my wife's getting these soap things and she wanted me to make some soap dispensers. So we have these like little twist tops that we'll glue on there. So that is what this is. It's a soap dispenser. This was the first one I made. There is another one in here too. This is something I'm really excited about. Shout out to my sister for recommending that I do this. And then shout out to my wife who actually made it look good. My wife carved this cup. That is not something you see out of JTP studio very much, but thanks to my talented wife. So I painted that black slip on, and then she took tools and actually carved out different designs. And my sister, Christine, was the one that was like, hey, I saw this BuzzFeed video, you should try it. So that's pretty sweet, what do you think? You think we should do more of that? I like it, I like it a lot. So I also got that black slip. Ooh, that's so I really wanted to try the black slip because I've, I've been kind of obsessed with getting this matte black and I just, I've tried a couple matte black glazes and not any, nothing's worked out super well. I can't believe how much that dripped. So this is the Northern Lights drip over black slip. So this is just like kind of like black clay painted on and it dripped pretty bad, but it's 
pretty cool. I like it. What do you think? That was cool. And then we have a bunch of these marble tumblers with a copper drip, or not a copper drip, a copper glaze. Those turned out real nice. So actually somebody ordered, I had a bunch of these in the last restock and one of them, someone ordered it and they got it and they messaged me and they said it leaked. Like they were drinking and it leaked and I was like, what? I had never heard of that before. So I think what happened, I actually remember these, is my little stamp at the bottom, it, if it's really thin, it like pushed through a little bit and I think that that just caused a little crack. So anyway, I told her I would make her another one. Actually, I'm gonna send her a set of two just because. So if you guys ever get an order of anything from mine and it's not perfect, then let me know because I wanna make sure that you love what you are getting. There's another one of these that dripped. So I just, I really like it. It just, it just ran right along there. I did not even really put it on that thick. All right, and then there's three more of these marble drippers. Copper ore is kind of, kind of a sparkly one, sparkly glaze. All right, and then we have a bunch of planters. So we're gonna, these, these Northern Lights planters have always sold pretty well. And then I always, with my planters, I like don't worry about glazing the whole bottom because it's just dirt and plants in there. And so I always just kind of dip it down and then if it leaves a little bit, I think it's kind of cool. Woo, metallic, metallic midnight rain. That's what I call it. When you load those crystals on there. Uh, another mid, another Northern Lights one. I love glazing planters because it's like drip tray. You can just load the glaze on and you don't really have to worry about it dripping off. These are my finger marks from glazing. So shout out to Joel Cherico, got that idea from him. So when I dip it, I dip it upside down like this and then it leaves my fingers there, which I think is just a cool little thing. You can see the, the maker's fingers. This has gotta be so distracting, this sunlight. All right, then the last, holy smokers. Okay, Easy's not gonna be happy with me. I mean, I'll just grind it, but. Okay, so this is her soap dispenser that she really wanted. The other shape was just the shape that I did. But this one dripped so bad, but it turned out really sweet. So I'll just have to grind that off for her. So that's cool. The other thing, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so this is the Northern Lights with red so i put that red underglaze on top of it which is really cool these were super popular last restock and this looks like it like look how far it dripped without dripping off nothing on the bottom that's so cool hopefully they all turned out like that yes 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 yes, yes. those are really very very cool awesome 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 no drips on the bottom. That makes me very happy. Got a couple, this is always a super popular glaze. Midnight Rain over Winter Wood. And then those spirals, I just love that. Provides so such a cool feel. And then I put the handle so you can kind of put your hand in like this, or you can do it like this. I'm starting to like doing that handle more. I like them both, but. The last things in here are some more marble tumblers. And these kind of have a little twist to them. If you can see, I kind of like, instead of just having them being straight up, it's got a little bit of a, I don't know what you call it, indentations. But those turned out very nicely. Love them. Makes everything, you know, you got a little, you got a little cocktail, some water in here. It just always tastes better. All right, got a couple more of these guys. I'm gonna count how many pots there were. Okay, 45 pots in today's kiln. Our total so far for this year, 2,366 pots. God dang it, what did I say? 40 something? Well, I have it on camera, so I guess I can go back and figure it out. I have never kept track of how many pots I've made in a year before, but this is by far the most I've ever made. Um, and now we're gonna just be gearing up for the holidays. Who's ready for Christmas? Um, anyway, so, now we gotta clean up the studio because we're it's Labor Day weekend right now, so I don't know when this video will go up, but it's Labor Day weekend, so we're going up to my wife's parents' cabin for the weekend. Check out all of our restocks coming up before Christmas, the fall winter schedule right here, and check out the book. If you want to get an overall really good introduction to pottery, 
um, everything from how to create a following and whatever. We have a book coming out October 27th called Practical Pottery. So I'll put the link to the Amazon link in the description below. All right, that's it. Comment, like, subscribe. As always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Ryder, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you want to go again? <laughs> <laughs> You're done.